Hey guys, welcome. Welcome into Interstage Window, my Saturday stream, which is a stream with friends. And today we are doing our community day. We're doing a farmer community day. So we've got, of course, our OG OTP farmers, Kitty and Kendra. <laughs> Say hi, guys. <laughs> Kitty Hello. and Kendra are the OTP. That's it. <laughs> That's We're how not I married. feel. That's how I feel. Like when it comes to the farming, you know, you guys are here almost all the time. Kendra, I know it took you a minute to uh, get Don't Starve downloaded, but once you got, got it downloaded and stuff, you were joining that one too. So, Listen. you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh all right, goodness. you guys. All right. If anybody watching is interested in farming with us today, we're doing Stardew Valley. You can. All you need to do is get in the Discord and in the special access channel. Make sure you have the farmer role. That has all of the information for actually joining um, for both Stardew Valley and Don't Starve Together, which are two of our community day games that are this kind of, basically, it's kind of like our, our farming sim role, basically. Those are the two that we're playing right now. I don't know if we'll do others in the future. So officially, welcome in, Tap. Welcome in, Lunar. Hey, guys. Hey. How's it going? Lunar got the first. Okay. Ooh. All right. Go ahead, Kendra. You're good. I'm going to get the game started. What did I do? I just said woohoo. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought you were about to say more. I thought you were about to say more. Okay. No, well, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm here. I, I slept for the first time in like days. I'm good. <sighs> Oh my yes. gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Time is unfrozen now. We can play, you guys. Yay. I'm ready. <laughs> oh my Thank gosh, you. Kitty. Thank you so much. I, I'm practicing because um, we are going to be talking about Euphoria next month. So I got to do the, you know, the oh. Euphoria makeup look. You know what I'm saying? So, um, oh so yeah. So I got some I, um, liquid I eyeliner and I'm practicing. <laughs> I mean, you can, Hello, right? You can believe. Yes, I can. However. <laughs> Hello, chicken. No, we don't I'm have just... the auto feeder yet, do we? No, we do not. We This is still like very early year one farm, which is always strange coming back to it. Because I don't know about you guys, but after we play, I always have the urge to play like my Stardew farm for a little bit. And then I yep. come mm -hmm. back to um, ours and I'm like, oh, because mine is like obviously like very, very far along, like community center done. Ginger Island, you know, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> Where's my watering can? Oh, yes, good question. same. Good question. Oh, when I, I went I to go use the, the bus thing's broken still. Yeah. Because oh. we're like community to, uh, center is not really that close to complete. Yep. Um, it's fun to remember where we came from. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's humbling, <laughs> right? <laughs> it, that's one word for it. I've never gotten past year one in Stardew. Oh no, Tap, that's crazy. Well, I, it's <laughs> so much fun after year one. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like I love that. I love the later game in Stardew. So hopefully my um, stream is not killing anyone's eyes like it was last time for Stardew. I found a new recolor mod so that things are softened now because um, I like to also use, you know, as y'all know, the pink explosions mods. Um, so everything's like pink, but I know for some of you guys, it's a little too pink, so. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Howl Lunar. Thank you so much. Ginger Island is like a second dairy area in Stardew that you can get to way later on. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, it's like a post-game area. It's, it's a fun zone. Yeah. Okay, we need I like melons. It. Yeah, I like Ginger Island, too. You get, like, a secondary farm. There's, like, a, a bunch of fun side quests there. Like, it's cool. There's some cool stuff you can do with your gear there. Um, the uh, crops in the bottom corners have not been watered. I okay. do not have my watering can. I'm going to... I'll take care of it. I'm harvesting our melons, trying to Bless see... You. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to see uh, what we can get for five because we need we need to put a melon in the community center and we need gold star melons. So let's see what we can do. Oh, about yes, that. I got my watering can. It's ready. Oh, dang it! We've got four gold star melons. We need one more. Oh my goodness! Oh no! Yeah. Oh my goodness! Indeed, we might need we need to plant some more melons if there's not any in any other plots. Maybe I need to stick with a farm to get there. Yeah, pretty much, Lunar. The only really way to, to get there is to just play for a while because it's really expensive to yeah. uh, to get out there. You have to, like, repair a boat and some stuff with Willy. 
Um, and it still takes a lot of resources. It does. Yeah. A ton of batteries. Yeah. Yeah. I was very surprised when he was like, it needs batteries. <laughs> like, okay. Weird. I was but too. Short. <laughs> I was too. I was like, really? It, it doesn't look that far away on the map. I don't really think we need a motorized boat, but whatever you say. <laughs> well, I didn't think boats used batteries. Well, no, but I, I was like, think the yeah, batteries is like an approximation can. for like a, a gas, you know, because they don't have gas yeah. in this game. Oh my god, thank you so much, Moisty. I'm practicing because I got to do the Euphoria makeup next month for Euphoria stream. But if I'm getting a lot of compliments, I might just keep it. Like, it might just be part of the stream that I like do my eyes up. We'll see. Why not? Yeah, why not indeed? Fun. It's like one of the few times that like I actually care about my appearance, how it looks on camera. <laughs> Which, let me tell you, doing makeup for camera versus doing makeup that looks good like face to face, um, it's way easier to make it look good on camera. I'm not gonna lie. That's nice. Yeah. That's fantastic. Honestly. Stuff stuff I didn't know but but learned. Work doing this and like then turning on the camera and seeing how it looks. And it's like, oh, much better. Maybe just because I have a low quality <laughs> camera. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I wonder if it's the same as theater makeup. Maybe. Well like, yeah, because it's that, the same thing. Yeah. And theater makeup is so easy because everybody's so far away. Mm. At least that's how I always felt doing it. I usually start a new one after year three. Oh yeah, Lunar, just play for a little bit longer. You're like you if by year three you probably have enough to to do it, but um but if not, you shouldn't have to play too much longer. Alright. That's that bundle done. We still Yay. need You got a, you more. got enough melons? Well I did the I just put the one melon in. We need one more gold star melon, so I'm gonna have to go buy some melon seeds. Pink tools are alive. I agree, Moisty. Um, Moisey, I mean, you would agree with me since you always got the pink name. I know you understand the, the rulership of the pink color is the best color. Moisty, by the way, if you want to play with us, you are more than welcome. Um, Tap, I know you're working, or I'd say the same thing. And Lunar, you know what to do if you want to play. <laughs> you've, you've joined us before, so you don't need a reminder. Did, what did you guys do for St. Patty's Day? Kitty and Kendra, did y'all do anything? Uh, I, I just threw up a lot. <laughs> well, Kendra, do you want to tell everybody why that was the case? <laughs> Uh, because I have a hypermesis gravitonium or something, which is basically morning sickness on crack. <laughs> wow, um, you got a bad enough morning sickness that's got a fancy name. Yes, it's it's fancy. I'm like Kate Middleton. Um, oh my. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am royal that way. Goals. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not goals. Yes. Miserable. So, um, <laughs> we're good now. So That's Halloween, funny. Halloween baby happening. Halloween baby. Oh Halloween my gosh. Baby. That fits your aesthetic so much. I don't like, I can't really, it, I don't know how right? to like explain it, but it's like, that's so Kendra. It, yeah. <laughs> Eliza's going to be very jealous. Uh, <laughs> when she realizes, wait a minute, hold on. My favorite holiday is now someone's birthday maybe <laughs> or it'll be close to it it'll yeah. be close to it october 29th supposedly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like well we'll see yep it's because we'll you spend so much time with ghosts it's, it's true you know what <laughs> uh probably <laughs> yeah actually i wouldn't be surprised by all oh. you're like one of us hat yep. mouse i love the hat mouse I love the hat mouse. I kind of want to get a lucky bow. Yeah, do it. Yeah. We need once we unlock cat ears. I'm gonna get those. I don't think they're unlocked for us yet, but I can't remember when. Not you yet. Them. Yeah, I didn't think so. But it just it matches my big green dress. Um, that does I've any, got. Do we need um, tomatoes, melons, or blueberries or hot peppers for anything? You guys. I know. Um, I was just looking through. Let me look again. I don't have anything in my. I was gonna sell them if we do not really need them for much. No, I don't. I don't see anything. Okay. 
I think we need one hot pepper for a quest. Oh yeah, not, we do. Not for a while. Okay, we are gonna need hot peppers for a quest. All right, I will save a few hot peppers then. Uh, I've been using the higher quality ones anyway for gifts for my boyfriend. So. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about Harvey. I'm supposed to be wooing him. Yes. Oh, shame on you. How do you forget about Harvey? You have to show him your love. I have to pretend to be interested in airplanes and jazz. Well, actually, I really love jazz, but airplanes I, not so much. Airplanes what? is like the humor him, right? <laughs> yes. Why does that fit? When I think of <laughs> Kitty, I'm just like, yeah, jazz, okay. That feels right. Mm -hmm. Yes. It totally does. Kitty, did you do anything for um, St. Patty's Day? Do y'all celebrate it? Um, my family does celebrate it, um, but I don't like hanging out with my family on drinking holidays, so oh. I avoid it. <laughs> I Fair. understand. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it's a villager. But we're doing Thanksgiving today, so that's exciting. Oh, Ooh. oh, fun. I love that. It's such a cute idea. Yeah, explain well, you get it. turkeys on sale. Yeah, explain it to everybody. What is this Thanksgiving in March? Um, turkeys are so cheap at Thanksgiving. I have a big freezer. And so I just buy extra turkeys. And then I let myself have Thanksgiving multiple times because I'm always thankful. Aww. That's so cute. I love this. <laughs> it just, I love turkey. So I make, well, my roommate is making green bean casserole and um, pumpkin pie. And she's in charge of the turkey. And I am doing the broccoli casserole, the dressing, and potatoes. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. We always have um, squash casserole for Thanksgiving too, which is like the best ever. It's basically you take yellow squash and onions and you chop them up and boil them. And then you put them in a casserole with mayonnaise and cheese. The greasier cheese, mm. the better, like shredded usually so that it gets like nice and melty. And then you just bake it until it's like a little bit brown on the top. It's four ingredients. It's so easy. It's so amazing. Yum. Mm -hmm. Making me hungry. Yeah, I, I request it. I request it every time. It's like, well, what, what dish do you want to have for Thanksgiving, Karen? A squash casserole. Duh. Come <laughs> on, guys. Obviously. One of the holidays I'm super jealous of as a Brit. So in the UK, I mean, obviously y'all don't have Thanksgiving because everyone has Thanksgiving because we divorced you. But do y'all have like, <laughs> do y'all not have like some kind of harvest holiday where it's like, a, you know, you just eat a bunch of food because winter's coming or something? I feel like that makes that makes sense. You know, anybody could have that. Yeah, because Canadians have it too. I don't mm -hmm. know what theirs is. Yep. No, they have the, and it's like a week before ours or something. And thank you for the hydrate, Lunar. That was just me taking the hydrate. I think that was, I think theirs is in like October. Mm -hmm. hey, I think theirs is the month before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, it's confusing. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It is the whole month before. That's right. Or something like that. Okay. I have to Google it now because I can't remember, it but I know their timing <laughs> is weird. Because ours, it feels like very natural for ours because it's like you have Halloween and then you have Thanksgiving and then you have Christmas. It's like this really beautiful progression, right? Mm -hmm. When is Canadian Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's October 10th. So theirs yeah. isn't... Oh, yeah, that's way early. That's super early. Yeah. But then they get a little break before Christmas to de-stress. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they do. Which would be nice. Mm-hmm. Instead of trying to fit it all into one spot. That's kind of true. We have bonfire night, which is fun, but again, not many eating parts, arguably the best part. Yeah, Thanksgiving is really about the eating and drinking part. Like those are those are the those are the ideas. You're supposed to eat so much that you that you pass out and then you're like, you you want to have some drinks, but you can't because you're so full of food. That's like my experience of Thanksgiving. Um, and what I try to cultivate every year. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we usually have Thanksgiving dinner at like two or three. So you have yeah, time to, yeah. to mm -hmm. take a nap and then go back for seconds. That's exactly right. Because you always eat so much and then there's like, oh, but there's still pie. And you're like, oh, God. <laughs> 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 so then you have your pie at like 7 p.m. after you've had your nap. <laughs> I love that we all went to Karen's cabin. <laughs> <laughs> of course we did. Oh, I got level five farming. Okay. Crops worth 10% more. Fabulous. 
Oh That's my gosh, right. thank you so much, Lunar. You sent me a cupcake. Okay, nobody's ever used the treat thing before. I have no idea how it's going to work. Um, but let me just let me just tell uh, go tell my husband that that's happening so he's not like, Karen, why the fuck is there cupcakes at the door? <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys, you guys can star do, uh, while, <laughs> while I'm doing that. I'll be right back, you guys. Yeah, if you look that. at my bow, aren't I cute? <laughs> <laughs> I do like that bow. I can't wait for the mouse hat because I do love the tiaras too. Oh, I love the tiaras. I gave my toddlers tiaras in my game and it's very good yeah the tiaras and then um i gave my little boy the witch hat so he can be a sorcerer oh he's the wizard's new apprentice it, well i like to imagine that as much as i love harvey we have an open relationship with the wizard because magic well yeah and <laughs> why wouldn't you <laughs> So we share children, it's fine. Okay, I'm back, friends. <laughs> I updated the husband so that he knows what's going on. He's not like Karen why there are random cupcakes at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be upset about that, though? Who's not going to be like, yeah? Well, he might, he wouldn't be upset at having the cupcake, but he might be upset at, like, thinking that someone crossed a boundary, like, ordered some, something oh, for us, yeah. you know? That, so, yeah. <laughs> Did someone? It looks like someone watered these already. I started to water and then I ran out of water. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna oh. try to see where. Okay, I can tell where you stopped now. Yep. I'd be pretty excited at random cupcakes. <laughs> he would be excited. It's it's more about it's more about like an I didn't order this. I think you might have the wrong house. Like that. I would be suspicious. Yeah, I would. Yeah, it's not about it's about being suspicious exactly. Or, like, not knowing if they had the actual address or not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, if he doesn't if he doesn't understand that, like, it's a service, he might think, like, someone's trying to, to dox me or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, the poor person who got all of the pizzas delivered to their house. Yes! Aww. Oh, my God. What happened? Uh, someone doxed an artist, and a bunch of, a lot of high schoolers specifically sent pizza and a couple of threats to their house it's an anti thing there's this particular artist yeah. that that doesn't like the particular artist like i have some criticisms of her too so i'll just say it whatever like she doesn't know how to just click block she like eggs them on um yeah like it's not it's not her fault that it got started but like she eggs it on right and it just keeps escalating and escalating and escalating because most of these people harassing her are like children and they have no boundaries and so yep. like she's actually had to file reports with the fbi over the death threats and things and um, one of the the big ones was like the, a bunch of them delivered pizza to the house, and so the FBI was able to use that to figure out who some of them were, and um, it was a whole big kerfluffle. And they were tweeting like, "I don't, it's not, it's just pizza. Oh my God, calm down." It's like, no, children, it is not just pizza. <laughs> it's not just pizza. Yes. Um, do we need corn? for anything i don't know but i harvested some I, it might, we probably right. do we probably do need corn for the um the thing jane jane you made it welcome jane. welcome jane if you want to play with us you know what to do you know how it works um vc is not required of course you're welcome to just mute yourself if you would just like to farm and not talk that is a-okay oh my gosh mr tiny corn dog is back welcome back sir how's it going Oh, I Maybe. love that. <laughs> um, we do have all of our corn filled. Oh, okay, okay. We do have all of the corn filled. Good. Oh, we do need, we're going to need quality corn though. So I've got one gold have, corn I'm going to save. Yeah, I've got one gold corn as well. Okay. I'm putting it in the, in the box that's by the greenhouse. Hi, Marnie. Hi. Hi, Marnie. Be friends with me, Marnie. Hi. Do we need wheat? I don't think we need wheat. Unless we want to make some bread, I guess. Okay. Let's see. I challenge someone to pizza bomb me. I reckon I can give it a go. <laughs> it, I don't think you would want everything that comes comes along with it, Moisty. I'm just saying. But <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I would not say no to the free pizza either. I would eat a portion of it. Um, yep. Not gonna lie. Only a portion. Mm -hmm. 
Is it prepaid though? No. That's no, my question. It wasn't. No, it was in this it's case. It's never it was prepaid. Not. No. Not when it's something like this. So the local pizza shops are just out money now. Yeah. Pretty much that's what happens. Like it screws over the pizza shops and it screws over the person that's, you know, yeah. getting messed with. Mm-hmm. All right. We've got a lot of copper and a decent amount of money. I'm gonna upgrade a tool. Um I'm thinking I wanna upgrade the axe or the pickaxe so that we can kind of clear some of those blocked paths on our farm. That would be awesome. Yeah, do y'all have a preference of which one? Hey. Uh, the maybe the pickaxe for mining? Okay. I would like pizza. I understand tap. Everyone would like pizza. <laughs> I can't wait to upgrade the fishing poles. I should oh talk to Willie more. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Copper pickaxe. All right. You can't really send non-prepay pizza very easily in the UK anymore. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do it here, to be honest. Um, the only way to do it is if you order the pizza via a phone call, which large chains will still do. Um, yeah. but, uh, but if you order a ton of pizza, a lot of them even have like limits like, oh, we'll only do this many without prepaying or only, we'll only do like $50 worth without prepaying or, you know, shit like that. I don't think I've held a paper note for nearly three years. Me either. <laughs> we do everything through cards and apps. <clears throat> it's so nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hate anything that has to have money. I... I will, when I did coffee, I will always try to use paper money for coffee. Just so that they don't have to claim their tips. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww, that's the that's one so thing. Well, that I is a delivery we... driver. Yep, so you know the pain. So it's like, you, you don't make a lot of money anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. We used to carry cash for that type of stuff, but even even like since the pandemic, it's like we're just not doing enough of that um, yeah. anymore to warrant it. So yeah, I don't think we've had cash at all for a few years. Yeah, it's a pain I to deal with, I agree, Tap. I don't even give allowance as money. I, uh, no? I already said this before. Yeah, I have the jelly bean system, so I give oh, them right. fake denominations and then they love... turn it in. Oh, so you've created like <laughs> so you've created like jelly bean <laughs> currency, crypto jelly beans. <laughs> yeah. Bitcoin. Yes. <laughs> Bit beans. <laughs> Bit beans. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's how we do it for our family too. Like we we use like um cash apps and and Zillow and mm. I mean not Zillow, Zell. Um, I was going to say hold on. <laughs> no, Zell's the one that's um that's affiliated with our bank. Uh you know, that's basically what we do. Yeah. Yeah, same. Cash app I love. Yep, it's so easy. It's just like boom boom, okay, done. My teenager actually has a hustle. She gets her friends to sign up for it and then she gets fifteen bucks for the referral and she Sweet. makes it like a job. Oh what? my goodness. <laughs> like she actually like recruits for it and stuff? Uh, well, it's not her like official job, but she's made like a lot of money getting her friends to sign up for it. What? I love that for her. Oh my god. She's a hustler. <laughs> That's Girl power. Impressive. Girl boss. We love mm -hmm. it. Did I water my melons? Yes, I did. Okay. Gotta make sure I keep up with these melons. Yes. Oh, speaking of pandemic stuff, I learned that tips on like Uber Eats don't go to the restaurant wait staff who prepare the orders and it just goes to the driver. So I avoid ordering it like fast food. Yes, uh, I totally agree. Yeah. If the restaurant has an actual website that they will let you order through, I order through that before I will use like Uber Eats or, or things of that nature. But a lot of yeah. the restaurants around here have even gotten rid of their own websites and apps and drivers and things. And so they on you can only do it through like Uber Eats and stuff. It's very annoying. That's so hard on the poor yep. staff. Yep, it's mm -hmm. very frustrating. I was like, I don't want to, you know, um, uh, just give money to the drivers. Like, I feel like the tips should be shared. And I know if it's 
through the restaurant, like you have to share out your tips for the people yeah. that do order prep and stuff. And I feel like that's fair because like they do a good portion of the work as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, crops are all watered. Wonderful. How are our chickens doing? Very cute. Liquors is trying to sleep. Oh, okay. They sleep in. Yeah, it's bedtime. <laughs> oh. Chimkin bedtime. It's okay. Once I get good enough friends with Shane, someday we'll play this enough and we'll have blue chickens. Oh my goodness. I love the blue chickens. <laughs> what what am said? I signing up for? Played. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so much for following me. Hey, Treasure Cove. Okay, can somebody do an exclamation SO, a shout out for Treasure Cove? Um, I, yes. re I started my Animal Crossing Island again um, because I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. But anyway, I've been using Treasure Cove. I'm pretty sure this is the one I've been using. Um, and uh, It sounds familiar. Yeah, that's who you use. I think so. I think this is the one yes. I've been using and they do, they do an amazing job with the way their order bot is set up. I love it. Um, let me let me just make sure I'm talking about the right people before I say too much. Uh, but uh, but I freaking love their order bot, and I've been using the hell out of it to make redo my island. Okay, yes, it is them. It's Treasure Cove. Um, they're fantastic. Order bot and injecting islanders. Yes, so theirs works nicer. really really good, and theirs is so fast. It's like awesome. Oh my gosh! And they subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're the best. You're the best. Oh, it's bedtime. I sorry, I got excited talking about Treasure Cove. <laughs> I that's the I one did you too. used to, Jane. I, I think I use them too. I don't really. I've been well when I was intensely doing Animal Crossing. I, I haven't mm -hmm. set it down. It's made me too motion sick. Oh no, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, my gaming's taken a die. <laughs> I understand. Like, if you're having nausea issues, like there's certain games that are just un playable yeah you know especially first person games i can barely play first person games anyway i i just don't try first person games <laughs> anymore mm -hmm. i can't but i know exactly I just, how you feel the treasure island people are so nice yep yeah, and it's so awesome. sweet and it just makes it so much easier mm-hmm I mean, I was using that Sakura one, but when I restarted my island, um, it looked like they were having a lot of technical issues. Unfortunately, the owner didn't seem to be like keeping up with it as, as much anymore. Yeah. Um, I wanted to go back and support them because they had been so so good to me for for you know like a year ago when I was playing, but mm -hmm. they just didn't they just weren't really doing it anymore. And so I looked for others, and um, I poked around at a few, and Treasure Cove was the was the best one that I found, and so I joined yeah. their I joined their subscriber list so that I could do all of the things. And yeah, I, lo I love their um, Islander injection system. It's awesome. I'm actually about to treasure cove in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, Jane, go. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Oh, my word. Oh, my God. That's too funny. That's too funny. Oh, now so I can, have a level so up Kendra, in farming. When the nausea passes, are you going to try to Animal Crossing again more? Yes. I. They gave me a medicine yesterday that... Mm. Like all of a sudden, my stomach has been cramping for weeks, and I didn't realize it. Oh, I was just sitting there in the emergency room, and all of a sudden, it was like, oh, the sun came through the clouds. <laughs> Everything was okay. Oh, <laughs> it was oh magical. My gosh. Kendra <laughs> uh, went got a whole bottle of anti nausea. I'm like, yeah, okay, great, good, so I can do this. Oh my! But gosh. I wouldn't be able to sit Treasure Cup gifted through a tier here for a community day, day without any meds right score. now. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yeah. And now we've got five gift Treasure subs Cup from from our friends. Thank you so so much! Oh, oh my gosh! So you are nice. the sweetest. So sweet. Thank you. I feel I feel like so good Treasure about the, the, one uh, to the place height. I picked to do the um to do the uh, Treasure Island. Treasure Cup Thank gifted you so a tier much. one sub to Mr. Underscore Tiny Corn Duck. Okay, so tiny corn dog, moist goat, um, mega boo lord, levitate the hype and bots. You guys have gift subs now. 
Welcome, welcome in. Um, I mm -hmm. recognize most of those names, but Levitate the Hype, I do not recognize your name. If you're new here, welcome. You do not have to come off the chat if you don't want to, but yes. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the applause. Um, I will let Landon know that there were claps for her this week, even though she's not here this week. Um, she'll be glad to hear that she can live another week. Thank you so, so much, Moisty. I'm always glad to hear that Landon is allowed another week. It makes me happy. She I like have Landon. another week of life. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta water our kitty cat. Thank you so much for the additional gift sub tap. You are the best. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all so much. Y'all, y'all are so good to me. I just, uh, I don't deserve. I don't deserve. All I do is get on here and fuck around, you know. But you guys are just so nice. I think that's the appeal. Aww. A underscore moist underscore goat underscore gifted uh -oh. tier one sub to tap water. <laughs> it's a train. They have given oh six God, gift sites in the channel. Choo -choo. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Chugga chugga choo choo. Boop, boop. Okay, let's go water the melons. Our melons need to be nice and moist, you guys. Please. <laughs> Everybody likes wet dripping melons. Mm. <laughs> Is it you even know? a melon without it? Mm. I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Oh, Jane has a question for you, Kendra. When you come back yes. and cross more animals, are you going to start over or are you going to continue with your current island? I'm going to have to look at my current island. I know that I was very frustrated with my museum area. Mm. Um, oh, we don't have enough coal for that. Okay. Because I had been using the new, like, castle walls that they had. Oh, I'm so excited to use those. I can't wait. Oh, they're gorgeous. However, they don't, don't line up at right angles. And it... Um, frustrated me greatly i see i yeah. understand what you mean i got I oh. real mad oh my god lunar thank you so much lunar Daydream you are the best tier one sub to canon 12 you're the best okay i see a few if you see a few good friends that have subs now lunar Jed, underscore daydream um, gifted a tier one sub Rem. to Jedlam. you guys are good friends of the stream i know you ambrose fox that's your that's your friend lunar Kendra, underscore right? ambrose daydream fox? gifted a tier one sub is to that lunar somebody that's friends with fox and bear i don't think fox? so okay Lunar underscore daydream gifted a tier one sub to Ambrose Fox. That name Fox. looks familiar to me. It, it does look very familiar. I don't know why. I'm Lunar going to buy underscore daydream gifted for, a tier one sub to Trim 22360. Fill up some empty spaces. Okay. Lunar underscore daydream gifted a tier one sub to Obsidian Shadow 08. Uh, I don't. Okay. Lunar underscore daydream gifted a tier one sub to Omen Nax. It always scares me when everyone starts coming into Pierre's. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they just go into yoga class. I know, but it feels like I've walked into a cult. <laughs> Mrs. Have. underscore kitty I, gifted a they tier have one sub in there to Masumara. I know, that's why. <laughs> Lunar, you do as many as makes you happy. You Lunar do as many as makes you happy. Lunar underscore daydream gifted a tier one sub to oh, Smash Oh, it looks as. like Sasha has one. Oh, Marina got, gets one now. Shadow gets one. Almanax, I haven't seen Almanax in a while, but they're a good friend. <gasps> you guys, we got to 50. You'll know what that means. I finally unlocked the last em emote slot. <laughs> Yay! Which it I did not so have happy. before. Oh my god. Thank you guys so, so much. Oh, that makes my day. That emote slot has been, like, empty for so freaking long. You don't even Aww. know. Because um, I normally... Most of most subs that I have is normally, like, around 40-something, right? So I'm always, like, just barely yeah. at 50. <laughs> Aw. Yay. Well, thank you so much. Oh, I've already given Shane gifts this week. Thank you. Thank you, Lunar. Let's see who all contributed to that. Thank you, Lunar. Oh, thank you, Kitty. You snuck one in there, too. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so thank you, Lunar. Thank you, Kitty. Thank you, Tap. And thank you to Treasure Cove for all of those gift subs. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. I love the emojis so much. So the I like emojis are small. so good. <laughs> I'll have to rearrange them a little and, and probably, I guess, get some more because we're using all the ones that I had um, gotten from my artist so far. I'll have to get some more looks for you guys. Okay, what do I want to do? I guess... That artist did such a good job. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're so cute. Oh my god. And the second batch was really cute too. Yeah. So I'm excited to get some more. 
Beep boop, dang it. And what did you do? Mm. Why dang it? Oh, I my pockets were full. Oh, uh, I hate that. That's so annoying. It's okay, I just got rid of slime. Oh, okay. I'm I that's only fine. Have I only have the two rows in mine. I still need the third row. I assume y'all are in the same situation. You still need your third row. Yeah. I forgot to get my second row. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> yeah, is still go open. get it. It's still open. Okay, I'm going. I was just go, finishing go, my slime go. quest. <laughs> oh my goodness. What quest do I have right now? I have Pam is thirsty at the mirror shorts and I have to the bottom of the mine. I guess I can go get yeah. a few mine levels before the end of the day. But I don't have my pickaxe. That's why, oh, that's why I didn't want to go in the mine. I'll just wander around and gather. I can put a pickaxe in the chest we have there. It's okay. It's not a big deal. I'll talk to some okay. people. Say hello. Hi, Abigail. How's it going? Yeah, do your uh, friendship levels. Yes. Oops, I'm I so hit pumped lines. to get my last islander while y'all play Star Stardew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww. We are totally hanging out. Yeah, okay, so here's why I had to restart my island. So I wanted to play again, but there was a few things about my previous island that I was really sad about. One of them was like, yeah. I thought I would really like having my resident services really close to the airport, but in truth, mm -hmm. it felt suffocating when I actually played yep. it. So like the layout was like really sad for me. Also, I did the, the bell cheat, which is fine. Like I don't mind cheating, but I didn't realize when I first did it that it was gonna break my turnip um, achievement. And so yep. that made me really, really sad. So this time when I started, the very first thing I did, like as soon as I could, was I completed the stupid turnip achievement. <laughs> so that um, that's not going to happen again. And I made sure to have lots of space this time between my resident services and my airport so that I can actually like make a really beautiful entrance that I, I have plenty nice. of space for. So that's the two reasons I restarted. And that's that's what's been going on. There, there you go, Kitty. You have the large pack now. Yay! Finally. But all I've really now done I'll have is all, the things. all I've really done is work on my neighborhood. That's like the piece that I'm designing right now, where all the villagers' homes go. So that's what I've got at the moment. I still want Kitty to play. Kitty, do you have a Switch? I don't. All my kids do, but um, I don't like playing on their Switch just because. I don't want them to just, they will just spam my friends with messages. Uh-huh. <laughs> I bet. I bet I, I bet if you stole any of them and you started adding <laughs> us, we would get random messages from, from the Kitty Juniors. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> it would be a lot of messages from Kitty that say, do you like Ben 10? <laughs> well, sure. Why not? I think by the time Ben 10 came along, I was too old for it. So I have to admit I never watched it. But I heard actually the original Ben 10 was a really, really good show. Mm-hmm. I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> I just pretend like, yeah, bud, got it. <laughs> yeah, great. Thanks, kid. <laughs> oh, that's what my parents did. Of course, Karen. We love my little ponies. They did not love my little ponies. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, level four hype train emotes for you guys. Good job. Ooh. Awesome. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Mm -hmm. Hyper shock. Oh. oh, hype shock. What is it, a bear? Or, oh, it's a squirrel. Oh, oh, cute. Oh, and there's an owl reading. That's appropriate since we've been talking about Animal Crossing. Yes. Oh, blathers. Okay, yeah. I know, I'm excited. I, I got a big kid switch. So now I can like, oh. see what I'm doing. Yes. Does that mean that in the future we'll have some switch streams from Kendra? Yes. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, if y'all um, want to see future Kendra Switch streams, here we go. <laughs> Drow feels. Okay, make sure that you, that you go follow Kendra. They don't. Co starring just a little Sith. Fun. Why not? Let's yeah, just do it. Let's just do it. It's Half silly. It's time. fun. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. And we just helped you. You're going to come help Sith us. And I are. <laughs> It's playing the, the clip. Right it's now. playing the clip of uh, the silly little war. <laughs> yeah, just a silly little war. It's fine. <laughs> Since no I don't deal. work, just I can silly. watch Kendra again. Oh my gosh, Lunar. Well, hopefully, wherever Yay. you get next, we'll have a better schedule um, for watching yeah. streams. 
Sorry, what were you saying, Kendra? I totally cut you off with talking about your clip. I was just so enamored. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's just, you're just so good to me. <laughs> it's a silly little thing. I just have to get the capture card. Mm, mm-hmm. You oh. can get cheap ones that will work with a Switch. Um, you don't yeah. have to get one of those nice expensive ones. Uh, people, if you read a lot of stuff, they'll tell you that you do, but mm. that is not true based on what I have I, I have observed from other people that stream a lot of Switch stuff. I've, I've found one and I put it on, we've got different Amazon lists for our mm-hmm. house. And I put it on the stream one. Oh, excuse me. Oh, bless um, you. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Thanks. <laughs> um, but so I've got that there. I've got you know different accessories for different games I plan on playing on there. Love it. But soon, soon, very soon. Welcome in yes. Star Hunt. Welcome to the stream. Um, we're playing Stardew Valley. This is one of our games that we play um, community day together. Uh, is it on Game Pass? I could not tell you. I don't know if it's on Game Pass, my friend. I play the PC version of this game because I have to have mods because I'm, you know, I'm like that for this game. Mm-hmm. I have to. So if there's a Game Pass version, I've not played it. Moisty would I don't think though. I needed mods. You didn't think you needed mods and then you did need mods, right? <laughs> yeah. The first time mm-hmm. I went fishing, I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Uh-huh. I, I don't do the fishing mini game either. Fuck the fishing mini game. I'm too good for I, it. I can't. It just, you know, that, to me, that type of game, not fun. Yeah, me, I mm-hmm. agree. I agree. If it's fun for other people, great. Mm-hmm. I am not other people. Me too. Yep. I know some people say they say get good, but um, no, I am bad at video games and I will never improve. <laughs> uh, thank and you so much for the follow star hunt. Thank you so much. They have to know how unenjoyable it is because later in the game, as you advance, they give you the option to get rid of it. Yes, they do. Eventually, you do not have to do the fishing mini game like without mods. It's just you just don't have to. Period. So they know some people just hate it. A lot of people really love it though, but I just you know, like Kendra said, not not for me. I can't vibe with that. Yeah, you know, if you like it, great, good. I'm so happy for you. It's not for me. Yep. And that's what mods are for. That's right. Mm-hmm. Modded away. And I just, I have to have the aesthetic, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, vanilla Stardew, like, it's cute, but that yellow, that bright yellow of the paths, like, mmm, I don't vibe. <laughs> I hate when I find worms and I forgot to bring a plow. Yes. Oh. The worst. The worst realization. Like, oh no, I do not have my hoe. I cannot dig up worms. <laughs> That's how I feel every day. Oh no, I do not have my hoe. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Your hoes are waiting for you online. <laughs> yes, generally they are. <laughs> If I forget my phone, it's, oh no, my hose. <laughs> what a shame. Sometimes, you know, Mr. Kendra just can't be enough, right? Yeah, Mr. Kendra works. Yeah, so you gotta come online to get your Often hose. and hard. Yeah, too much. Ugh. Gross. Fine. He's working less than he did with the last mm-hmm. pregnancy, so he was around to see more. Oh. And he's just this it's the saddest thing (laughs) to feel that helpless when someone you love is in pain yeah he's like what is he actually supposed to do he i mean if he can be present but that's the most he can do you know he kept bringing me crackers in the bathroom and i was like this is not what you think you're doing i really really appreciate you right now but i need you to give me space to do this in private <laughs> oh my god that's so cute though like the, the very helplessness sweet. of like can't, would you like some crackers <laughs> it was very sweet Oops, but <laughs> oh you're good treasure cove no worries no worries and we appreciate lurkers here you know so whatever you need to do we're just all about hanging out and vibing, right? 
for community days. That is the MO. I mean, that's the MO always. Pretty much. I would think. Definitely for these, definitely for the Thursday streams. Um, on the actual, like, media episodes of Interstage Window, I feel like if you really, really, truly care um, about making sure you hear all the points, then you probably watch mm -hmm. the VODs. Um, yes. You know, so... <laughs> Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what you I do. assume anyway. You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I do. Yeah. Because when you're watching live, like, it's funner, I think, but there's interruptions and you can't pause. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, I definitely, I don't know how y'all's life is, but I can't make it through two hours without having to get up and do something. It's rough. Yeah. I didn't know you streamed. I always go through Discord lists. You can say hello to and who's streaming. And I saw you. Ah, amazing. Yeah, I do. I stream. I don't stream Animal Crossing, actually, because I don't have a big girl switch. So I can't. Um, but uh, but I'll tell you a little bit about my content. So on Thursdays, that is my solo stream that I do just by myself. Right now, the main thing that we're doing is um, a leaf green Pokemon Nuzlocke. But... Um, we do a bunch of other stuff too, and we're actually taking a break from that to go back in, into Final Fantasy X, which we played before, and um, and we're going to do like some post-game stuff because we beat it. But there's, of course, it's Final Fantasy, so there's still more content after that. Um, but the main actually like content that I really put a lot of work into is once or twice a month on Saturdays, we will have what's called like a media episode, which is basically where we... Um, break down and do analysis on a piece of media it could be like a book or a tv show or whatever and then y'all can watch so it's kind of like me and me and landon's media club and uh you guys are invited if you want to like read along with us i make sure that people know you know what's coming up um and uh and that sort of stuff so that's that's like my main like actual effort content is those ones <laughs> actual effort content yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know how Be it nice. is. You know how it is if you make content. Like, all content takes effort, but some takes more effort than others. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, Kendra Not knows now content. since the stream. <laughs> Listen, not all content is created equal. That's true. Oh my god, that's true. When, Jane, I, I'm um, sure you're one of Kendra's hoes. Sorry, go ahead, Kitty. Oh, it's okay. Uh, when you do the book recommendations, does that get posted in the lounge afterwards? No, but we should. We should. Yeah. Um, no, and usually Landon handles that because she reads a lot more than I do. So she goes and, and finds something and I make sure it's actually available on Audible. Um, but, uh, but I can ask her to try to remember to post the specific books afterwards. Because no, we do not keep that anywhere. It's just like, it's just part of the stream. I guess you could technically go back to the streams and find the time code that says audible ad break because I do put all those time codes in there. Um, oh, that's so you can nice. go figure it out, but it's not like written down anywhere. Thank you so much for follow following um, Dorg, uh, Dor Dorge Silas. Dorge Silas, maybe? Welcome in. How's it going? Was there one in particular you wanted to try to remember, Kitty? Yeah, there was something like Queen of Something that sounded really good, Queen but I, I couldn't remember what it was. And maybe I'm getting it wrong. No, that does sound right. Um, Landon likes political intrigue, so that sounds like something that she would recommend. I'll go, I'll try to go back and find it for you. What it was. I can go to the I can go to the VOD and look at okay. it. I ended up getting um, a Court of Thorns, which is nothing like what she was describing but i like it <laughs> <laughs> well maybe you just haven't gotten to that part yet because she's read the whole series so she might have been talking about stuff that was uh later on could be but she's like she really likes those ones too i need to read those i've been told i would like them it's just usually my reading and watching time nowadays is like going to whatever we're preparing for next <laughs> Mm -hmm. when I don't read the extra recommendation stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I finished Euphoria season one. At this point, I am on... Um, I've watched two episodes of season two, so that's where I am on that. I'm going to try to finish it this weekend. I do want to watch that. I have to watch a little bit at a time and then break it up with happy content. Mm, oh my god, I know exactly what you mean. Woo! Because it is... Woo! <laughs> but it's so oh good. Oh my... 
Yeah. Oh, it's um, Sam's birthday. Oops. Happy birthday, Sam. Good thing I found a cola. He likes colas, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Hurry up, my love. I want to know who's just throwing whole cans of JoJo soda in the rivers. Right? <laughs> like full and everything. <laughs> yeah. Unopened, pristine cans. You know, it's probably JoJo themselves doing it. Like, it's overstock and they're not allowed to, like, yeah. give it away. So they just throw it in the river. That seems like something they do. <laughs> I was thinking more viral marketing, but that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about, you know, have you ever watched those, um, like it's on, there's TikTokers that do this and there's YouTubers that do this where they like dumpster dive um, and they'll yep. find stuff that's like not even close to expired. Like they just, they just mm -hmm. threw it away because it was like overstock or it was like just not the current promotion or whatever. Yep. It's insane what you can find in the dumpster. I worked um, adjacent to the food court in the mall as a team, and mm -hmm. at the end of the night, the amount of really good food that they just threw away because they couldn't do anything with it was so crazy. Yeah. It's so sad. But yeah. I do like um, Panera Bread donates all their stuff at the end of the day. That's good. I feel like more companies should do that, but they don't because it's cheaper to throw it away. Yep. Mm -hmm. Whee! all the berries I've strayed too far uh oh yeah, I, need I always feel so slow <clears throat> you can do it I believe in you I tried to get another level in the mine and I got killed by a ghost oh, no. no I didn't get killed but I, I got really really low and I had to leave yeah I know what you mean these ghosts yeah. and they just and they have so much hit points like oh my god it's like uh. stop but I'm like green today, leave. so I I found like stairs pretty fast so far. Good. But I just need to find one more. Worms. I need Worms. a better sword. There we go. Play. That means the bat's dead. Rude. Oh, my combat's only level two. That probably has something to do with it. That probably doesn't help. Yeah. No, probably not. Oh my god. Come to me, stairs. What's wrong with you? Damn it. <laughs> Is, are you damning because it's stuck in your head? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it just woke up, but it was like, yeah, okay, let's go. Oh my gosh. Welcome Why? in, um, Ab Abs Ch Abs Chalton. Oh, there's the that stairs. Looks, yeah, hey, right. you must be lucky, sir, because now I found the stairs. This is what I wanted. Okay, we're gonna go back up. Yay! We got to 65 now. I really ought to try and get this game. You absolutely should. It's a fantastic game. Um, it's a lot of fun. Yes, we love to play it as part of our rotation of like community day games. So probably every couple of months or so we we progress this little group farm and it always makes me inspired to go play my actual like Stardew Valley save. <laughs> you said it correctly. Oh, good, good, good. This game also, I feel like always brings in a lot of, uh, of new people. Yeah, they hung out with us before. We like our cozy content. Yeah. I think my absolute favorite thing about this game is the ostriches. Oh my god, the ostriches are so good. They make the most adorable sounds, and I, it's the only, I know there's a lot of ASMR out there, but it's mm -hmm. like the only thing I could listen to over and over and over again. Oh my gosh, I know what you mean. Okay, we've got a lot of crap in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sell some stuff. <laughs> Why do we have so much oh. stuff? Hey, I know cool. it's getting late. Leave me alone. Never. Oh, from Send. I'm not in Send. How do you know about me? I pr purposely said I don't have time. And I know if I click on it and look, I'll want to join. But I have not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jane posts links whenever 
we stream in there. Mm. It's very for mine and yours. Yeah. Oh, that's it's very so sweet. sweet of her. Jane, you're so nice. Thank you so much. Gosh, I. <laughs> all I want. I'm so mad thinking about this because all I want to do is go watch Serrano now after this. Ah, uh, you should. I wish I could. The nearest theater playing it is like mm, 45 minutes away from my in laws. Womp. Well, you yeah. know, the internet exists. Maybe you could do some sleuthing. I have tried to do some sleuthing and have been unsuccessful. Yeah. yeah, it's sad. But that's okay. It's fine. I'll just live on TikTok clips. <laughs> oh. It's a beautiful movie. I don't I've it's not seen it. So I don't pretty. About it. It's so pretty. I you tried to, hype just... to watch it. Oh man. I tried to just listen to the soundtrack the other night, and I couldn't do only the soundtrack. Mm. So what is it about? It is the um, OG formula for love triangles in media. Mm -hmm. They all circle back to this Italian play from, you know, the 1700s. Mm -hmm. And it's about this guy who is deformed in some way, usually a nose is how they portray him mm -hmm. who is in love with Roxanne and he believes Roxanne. that because he's ugly she will never love him well. so he loves her from afar oh. until she falls in love with a soldier in his regiment and says hey buddy Serato introduce us I want him to write me love letters and okay. this guy has no talent for love letters. Oh no. Serrano oh. is a poet. So he writes love letters for this soldier man. Oh to send no. to Roxanne. And it just spirals. That sounds amazing. It's heartbreaking. It's so good. And Peter Dinklage sings beautifully in the new one. It oh. just, it's beautiful. It's just like, it's luscious. All the texture in the film mixed okay, with the I did dancing. See, I did see an ad for this. Okay, like I saw it yes. pop up on like Amazon or something. I can't remember, but it was mm. ad, it was advertising it. And then it was like, oh, it's in theaters. And I like just didn't pay attention. But what drew me in is it was, I saw it was Peter Dinklage. And I was like, oh, um, yeah. I assume he plays the poet. He does. Yeah. It, so it He does such a good job. Yeah. It just wrecked me in the best way I haven't felt that like magical that movie magic where you're just your soul is touched mm -hmm. I haven't felt that way in a theater since I think seeing across the universe well movies it's, lately have just not been good like let's be real they they haven't they haven't touched me and like engaged in the beautiful dance with my soul it was just, it's funny that they're both musicals, but they don't handle the musicals the way that like a lot of movie musicals do nowadays, where it's like, yeah, musicals are awkward, but stick with us. You know, dream sequences and stuff like that. Are you referring to La La Land? Um, no, because I haven't seen La La Land. Don't, it's not very good. I don't I, know yeah, why it's got it, so many Oh, awards. I loved it. Uh, I mean, that's fine, but they did not deserve, like, the praise. Hollywood only liked it because it was about Hollywood. It was a mediocre average mm -hmm. movie musical. There was nothing special about it. I mean, I'm not. it's not, like, bad if you liked it. Like, it's not bad like that. It was just, like, it did not deserve accolades, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it, it just didn't capture my attention. Um, the trailer for it, so I never saw it. Mm -hmm. Marnie, if, I just want in your bedroom. I mean, please. if you. <laughs> so does the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, if you like musicals, it's worth it's worth watching. Um, Kendra. Yeah. But yeah, it did not deserve all everything, all the awards and stuff that it got. Like it wasn't like that, you know. 
I just, I'm so picky with my time now. I understand. I understand yes. exactly what you mean. Oh my gosh. Yep. Man, when Karen, can... have you watched The Great? No, I have not. What is The uh -huh. Great? <laughs> what is The Great? Is, that, is it, it new? It's not new. It's on Hulu. Okay. Um, Unfortunately. But it's about Catherine the Great. Ru oh. or, yeah, of Russia. Um, About her rise to power. And they handle it in a way that just reminds me of our role plays. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Um, it, it's very... <laughs> It's very silly mm -hmm. where they take a historical setting and they don't make it super modern, mm -hmm. but they are able to infuse it with a life separate from like a lot of Jane Austen type, you know, stuffiness that people think of when they see period pieces. Mm -hmm. Well, some of Jane's, Jane Austen stuff is stuffy, like, you know, reading it with yeah. a modern eye. Like, some of it's really good, yes. but some of it's hard to get through, like, you know? Mm -hmm. But it, it does, it's not the, um, the low-energy period drama, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay, so it's, like, more action-packed, kind of like how when we were doing that Game of Thrones roleplay? Yeah, it, it's definitely very intrigued, but it's just funny. And Elle Fanning does a great job. Oh, really? Okay, well, I, I love guy. her to give it a watch. It's very funny. Um, very silly. Someone like trained silly. butterflies to follow them around and also dance around on command. What? Oh. Yeah. When I hear that butterflies like a really now, hard job. Yeah. Yeah. When I hear butterflies now, I can't help but think of Peacemaker. If y'all have not watched Peacemaker, by the way, like you really need to fix that. It's so good. It's so good. Like, I can't stop recommending it. Amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's funny. Maybe that'll be, that'll be what I break Euphoria up with. Yeah. Oh my god. It's And it's so not serious. I mean, like, some parts of it are serious, but every single part of it is also a comedy. So even the times where it's actually touching on important things, it doesn't make, make you feel heavy. You know? That's nice. Yeah. It feels, like, really good. And it's hilarious. And, like, I was kind of on the fence about John Cena as a as an actor, a comedy actor, until um, seeing Peacemaker. And now I'm like, okay, no, I'm sold. I see what everyone else has been seeing now. I get it. I'm here for it. That's exciting. Yeah, very exciting. So Jane made a comment earlier um, that said, when Kitty starts streaming, I'm going to post hers up, too. So, Kitty, are, are there are there streaming plans in your in your future? <laughs> I I do not think that I would be able to do what you do. Either of you guys, you put so much work into it, and I like to just enjoy yours. Aww. Oh my goodness! You could totally do it though. You, really you could. could. I mean, Kendra figured it out, even though she's got like Eliza vying for her attention literally twenty four seven. So God. My child is amazing. <laughs> I love Eliza. <laughs> I love Eliza so much. She has so much energy. <laughs> so much energy. <laughs> Eliza's so how I know I could energy. never have kids because I would end up with a kid like Eliza. I know I would. Like between me and, and my husband, like that's how it would go down. So I don't know where she gets it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh man, we've started teaching her how to be bored. Because, be bored? Yes, yes, how do you do that? Um, by not, by encouraging her to play by herself safely, oh. giving her options, and then sitting back and being like, you, this is for you to do. Oh. Here's your toolkit on things to do when you feel like you want to do something. So you're like trying to teach her to play alone. And she's great at playing alone, but a lot of the time she wants active participation, mm -hmm. which is fair and fine. And we, I'm not saying we ignore our child, but I cannot give active participation 24 seven. I see. Yes. So she's like, so she's not happy, like watching a show by herself. She wants you to watch with her like that type yes. of thing. Yes. I see. And I can only watch 
so much of Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> like it's great. It's a funny show. But But I it's not like... really for it's not really for adults, right? No, I would like to um read a book or something. I thought I heard Lady meowing outside the door. So I went to go check, oh, but no. she's not there. She probably Poor got lady. bored and, and left. She's we're, I'm trying to like train her speaking of speaking of training it's a cat though not a child <laughs> um i'm, tr I'm trying to get better with her about like not giving in because like she requires so much attention and i like i want nope. to give it to her i don't want her to feel neglected but at the same time mm -hmm. like she's got to get over it like it's too much yeah. um she requires way more than any of the other animals and i just don't quite understand why you know some animals are needy yep and I, and I know, like, she had a, a very, like, traumatic um, little bit at the beginning of her life. Um, I think I've shared this on stream before, but she uh, she crawled away from her mom. And, like, I had to rescue her and take her back to her mom, yeah. like, like, literally within the first moments of life. And obviously, like, she doesn't remember that because she was, like, so tiny. But mm -hmm. I'm sure that sticks with her. Um, so, you know, but, like, at this point... She needs to figure out. She needs to figure out how to play with herself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As you were saying for Alexa. Yep. <laughs> like, and she, just... she, she, like, goes around in a circle, like, trying to get attention from, from me and from her brother and from Queen. And, like, and it's just like, oh, my God. Sometimes nobody wants to give you attention, and I'm sorry. Yeah, and that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, learning how to... Yep, uh, it's hard. It and it a, is hard. It's not fun. It takes a lot of spoons to have that constant interaction, too. So you got to give yourself have, a break. I don't have many spoons in general. <laughs> <laughs> and that doesn't happen. Well, especially not right now, right? Yeah. Oh, geez. Poor kid. She has been following me around. I We haven't told her yet because, you know, I'm still... It's it's October. That's too long. She can't do that. Hmm. And that's like too long term for her. Yeah, that's too long of a wait. Um, she's so excited. She's been wanting a baby sibling for about a year. I know she asking, started. She started begging. asking for one. I feel like she manifested this child into the world. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure she did. <laughs> <laughs> this is 100% Eliza Power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Didn't and she originally she, have a girl name? Uh, yeah, she has a lot of names. Um, and she keeps coming up. Pretend there's a baby in your tummy. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure, pretend. <laughs> Jane, you do get some of the blame. You do. But, like, the whole, like, Eliza talking about a, a baby sibling, like, started a while back. Yeah. Forever ago. And I just, I don't know, even at that time I had a feeling and I was like, mm, another one's coming. Another one's going to come. Yeah. <laughs> so did I. I, I when she got like really intense about it I was like you know what I'm just I'm not taking any chances I'm gonna go pick up some prenatal uh-huh uh-huh and then she was right <laughs> yeah so you know at least at least we had that prepped locked mm -hmm. and loaded I don't want to eat the egg no, I'm no raw egg. egg but she comes in and just you know hangs out and said oh you're such a good thrower upper <gasps> just do it <laughs> oh, honey. i know that you're trying to be supportive i need you to not watch me in pain please <laughs> but kendra you're so good at throwing up is the talent I'm so good at throwing up <laughs> it, it got to the point where when I went to go visit my family and tell them at the rest stops, instead of going to the bathroom, she would bend over and pretend to throw up and oh the my god, and she's so precious. What she wanted to do, and I was like, no, kid, she's so precious. Oh my god, this kid. is why Eliza is my favorite NPC. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Landon, welcome in. I have to tell you, we got some applause Hi. earlier, so you can live another week. Um, so Yay. you know everything's fine. Uh, you better send us pictures of the tattoo whenever yes. you, um, whenever you've got it, like, you know, finished and I know it's, they look really red at first, but whenever it's like in that, you know, that beautiful pristine state, 
I want a picture of that. Ready. Yeah. Photo ready. Mm hmm That photo ready state. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, also, Kitty had a question for you. There was an, um, audible recommendation you made at some point, uh, about Queen something or something Queen. So if you can remember the name of the book, uh, Kitty wanted that. We could not remember the name. Okay, I think she had had it in her hand, too, but I'm not sure. Oh, that one was so funny when she threw it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, we've got six gold corn. Oh, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can go turn those into the community center. I just added some gold corn, so I guess you must have just come behind me and added some more, huh? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? Yes. Always. Wee. Someone leaving the farm. Red Queen. Red Queen Kitty. There we go. Okay, I'll write it down this time. Okay. Thank you, Landon. By Victoria Aviard. Aviard, maybe? Ooh. A V E Yard. I actually keep pens and paper next to my computer for this reason. Oh really? That what that's so smart. Yeah, that is really smart. Do we do we want to save our hops for anything? Are we gonna do we wanna make beer? Does anybody want that? I mean uh, I usually will make the beer. Okay, I'll save our hops then. I'll save some hops. I think the beer is really good for the Pam quests. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. Need beer for the Pam quest. And Shane. Yeah. I try to give him peppers, but I mean I don't mind giving him beer. I'm not opposed, you know what I mean? <laughs> Land in the Tadis fire. Oh no! Oh, she must have posted the picture somewhere. Hang on, I gotta see this. Where is Yay. it? Oh, it's in the group chat. Okay. What? Oh wow! Oh my god! Oh, that's amazing. It's of the tarot card, the Hermit, you guys. Oh. But she posted it in the group chat, so I don't think it's supposed to be public. But you know, if if it's okay to share it, I'll I'll show I'll show it on stream. But otherwise, well, Landon can share it in the Discord server when she's ready. Okay. It's oh huge, and we're god. halfway through. Oh my god, only halfway. Yeah, it is. That thing How's is the huge. pain. Yeah. Oh, we have an aquamarine. I'll have to bring it in here. New reward. It's not done yet when it's all done. Okay, sounds good. Oh, geez, we have a lot of rewards. So I think the awards accumulate. So like if I got an award, a reward from the museum, and then I picked it up, but there's still like one for you. I think that's how that oh. works. Oh. Uh -huh. okay. Are we ready to get the bus? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you if we can unlock it, I would love to. We can unlock the bus. Okay, unlock it. Boom. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. <laughs> what? I gave away a, I gave away sandstone. Oh, oh no. That's okay. We'll get more. We'll get more. Yeah. Do we need any of these gems in here? Um, uh, just so much crap. If you have an aquamarine, we need that. I don't see an aquamarine in here. Okay. Um go find Which it. Which one? I put it in a weird bin. If I sold it earlier, Kendra, I apologize, because I've been trying to not accumulate so much crap, so I'm, it, I might have sold it. If I did, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll get another one, though, I'm sure. We'll get another one. It'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna sell some gems and monster parts and fish and stuff. There's just, like, there's so much. We need a fire quartz and gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we probably do for the community center. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can get five more mine levels. I believe in you. Thank you. Sweet. Here we go. Let me just blank, 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 blank. Wild plum. Salmon berry. Nom nom. Yes. I 
remember it was in a weird... It was in a weird chest. Like at one of the um, other corners of houses that we aren't using as much? Maybe, maybe or it might have been in the one that I have in my house. Oh. It, like, it was in a weird one. <laughs> yeah, it was in my house. Yay, you found it? There we go. Yes. Sweet. Okay. I can't remember Ooh. which house is mine. Does it say on the map that it belongs to me? Um, yes. It does? I thought. Oh, no, that's just me on the map. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think there's a way to figure out which house is which. If I go, tr if we go try to, like, delete the houses, it will tell me. Because I know that happened before, because we had to figure out which one was Kendra's old account, so we could delete it. Yeah. And she wasn't going to use that one anymore. And, um, and I know it told me when I went to go delete it. I think I remember that you know it by the mailbox. You can't touch your other mailbox. Or oh, somebody else's mailbox. Yeah. You can't touch someone else's mailbox. Okay. That makes sense. I just know okay. it's mine because I'm by the chicken. <laughs> A lot of lucky days this playthrough. There we go. We need a chub. A chub? A chub. Okay, well, give me a second. I don't I haven't been keeping up with if we need any summer fish. Is chub is chub one of the summer fish? Oh boy. I have no idea. Yeah, but I haven't, uh, I haven't been see. fishing, I realized. That was from um, the... Let's see. I'm so close to being able to get my exclamation Kendra. I believe in you, Jane. And then we'll have an exclamation oh Kendra against her will. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> A chub That's is concerning. located in the backwoods, forest, and mountain any season. Oh, okay. So we could Between six and two. I got those first five levels so quickly, I'm going to try to get another five. Do it. Go away, ghost. Coward. Ooh, lots of iron. Hi, Marnie. Yes, I can. Peace. Am I good enough friends with you to uh, go into your house yet? Nope. Super not. Darn. It takes a minute. You gotta get lots of sweet peas if you want to do it yeah. early. Oh well, that's fine. I'll get in there. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't done that quest either, because I just haven't, you know, bothered enough with the friendship. I can't. Rem what items does Marty Marty like? I don't remember. I, I don't as remember soon as either. I get the pants, I just stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested. Um, as bad as that sounds. <laughs> well, eventually, like, once I finish the community center, I usually focus on, like, getting all the friendship up. Um, oh, I got another aquamarine. Um, but, Ooh. um... But, yeah. The only one that's actually... that you need for the quest is the Marnies. Yeah. I think if you want to be a completionist, each person gives a recipe. Oh, that's true. They do. You, you can only get all the recipes if you actually get the friendship up with everybody. Okay. To at least a certain amount. Fine, I guess. Oop. Like, I, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get tea, and tea is a Caroline. Oh, because you, and, but it's not just getting friends with her. Like, you have to get be friends with her, and then you have to go into that back tea room. Mm-hmm. So that one's actually kind of hard. I remember I had to Google for that one. I uh, I did not figure that out on my own. I have to Google for all of it. Stardew <laughs> Valley Wiki is my, is my friend. Yeah, yep. Stardew Valley Wiki is great. There are some things where I'm just like, I have no idea. I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, I'm pretty shameless. I will cheat. I'm not above yeah. it. Yeah, it's not cheating. Not mm -hmm. everything is very intuitive in this game. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, it's clearly a game intended for like just fun discovery. It's, it's you're not expected yeah. to 100% it really. And you probably do no. have to use the wiki if you really want to 100% it. All right, so we got to level 80 in the mines now. If anybody wants to get the Firewalker boots, uh, you can go down there and get them. Oh, I need to put this sword away. I almost didn't do it. So was it tonight? In... Oh, was it tonight that the mine carts will open? Uh, the bus. Oh, the bus. That's right. The bus will open tonight. Okay. The bus to Calico. Yes. Okay, great. We did the bus bundle. Okay, sweet. I put a sword in the chest by the silo. Okay. I'll I try to. to I try turn. to always put the swords back in the mines chest. But it doesn't always work out. <laughs> no. It does not. <clears throat> oh, man. I just wish I could fall asleep as fast as the farmer falls asleep. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Like they get in bed and it's just instantly good night. Yep. My That's husband is actually real. like that. Yeah. Really? No, it, yeah, he can do it. Yeah, so can mine. I can sometimes. It's awful. I can sometimes, but like, it's not really quite like that. You know, usually what I do is I'll just like play a video game or watch TV until I'm like so super tired and then I can fall right asleep. Um, but I have to do something that gets me exhausted first. All right, Luna, I still have not heard, gotten a text or anything. Um, in regards to that cupcake, so I, I hope it works. If it's after stream, that it finally gets here. Um, so uh, I will let you know because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I do see like the notifications. Um. Oh, here it is. Oh, uh, the restaurant said no. So hopefully that means you get a refund. I think that's how it works. But yeah, the restaurant said no. They canceled it. Rude. Oh. Yeah, wow. and it actually just about two minutes ago that email came through. So I'm glad I went and looked at what those emails were. Yeah. No cupcake for you, I guess. I guess Jerks. not. <laughs> I mean, I assume no. maybe they're like out of stock or something. Like, I have no idea. The email doesn't say. It just says that the restaurant declined the order. Maybe they have a Stop minimum it. delivery. Maybe that's possible. Or you're out of delivery range. I'm definitely not out of delivery range. That okay. this place is like right down the road. It's not that far. Huh. Weird. Yeah. It's probably more like they have a minimum requirement mm. that they didn't have when I first set up the treat stream thing. Yeah. Because when I first set it up, it told me about ones that had, and so I made sure that the order worked. But I haven't touched it in over a year, so <laughs> they Who probably knows? changed some things. Yeah, chances Thanks are to the pandy dandy. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's exactly what the email said. It said due to due to COVID nineteen, um, restaurants you know have such and such requirements. Blah blah blah. blah. But yeah, it's literally like it said due to the pandemic. Ooh, worms. I, there's something depressing about seeing worms getting excited and then only getting clay. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Like, why? Why do that to me? Oh, I fall right to sleep. Mr. Jane is up for hours. Yeah. Um, oh, in our Mr. House, Jane is a normal person. <laughs> in our house, I'm definitely the one that falls asleep faster. It's, it's not instant or anything, but um, I'm definitely the one that's asleep before Levi. He I actually didn't up. believe my husband oh, fell asleep that quickly, and I put my Fitbit on him because it monitors your sleep, and yeah. it was within minutes he was in deep purple REM sleep. Really? And just uh -huh. stayed there. What, like you thought he was just pretending and laying very still? I I wasn't, like, he's not, like, I don't think that way about him, but, like, it didn't make sense to me. I was like, there's no way. Like, you just close your eyes, but you're not, like, asleep. But he was. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Like, that's usually what I do. That's the easiest way for me to fall asleep is just to actually, like, 
close my eyes and commit and go through the annoying, you know, period of not being a sleepy eye. That period lasts for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, for me too. Yeah. But I don't know, I don't know a faster way, you know, unless I like really super exhaust myself before it's bedtime, which is usually what I try to do. Wild. Oh, oak oh, God. That's what we needed. Darn. Okay. Eight. All right, melons have six more days. Gosh, they take forever. Uh, we just need one more gold so one. Long. Nope, didn't need to water that. Artisan, oh, I could have been putting honey in here. Oops. Mm. That's fine. We'll get honey soon. Oh, I died. Oh. Oh, Demetrius needs a melon. Uh-oh. Katie, no. It says you were knocked unconscious. Womp, womp, womp. I couldn't get away from the monsters in time to eat my snacks. Oh no. Shame. <gasps> oh no, I lost so much money. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Oh, it's, it's not nice. a big deal. I'm gonna go get the copper axe. Oh wait, I need to bring I need to bring more copper so that I can upgrade the hoe as well. So yeah, you get hoe. that hoe. I'm trying. I'm trying to get a, a better <laughs> one, you know, new model. Replacement. Yeah. My current hoe is old and younger. Tired. She, yeah, she busted. <laughs> so I need a new one. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, there we go. Awful. Now I got copper. She old and busted. I need new hotness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Terrible. Nah. Just real. Yes. <laughs> I, oh, we need a bunny. That's what we need. We do need a bunny. We absolutely need a bunny. We need to upgrade. We need, we need to upgrade our barn, I think, too. Oh, to a large barn? Yeah, probably. So we can get um, the cows and goats and stuff. Skeleton. Oh, no, we only have a coop, right? Yes, we only have a coop. So we actually need to get a barn, period. I wonder how much one costs. I don't even remember. Uh oh, I have hiccups. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ouch. I hate that. I hate the hiccups. They're so annoying. Me Who too. put their skeleton, like, just right outside the museum? I was wondering <laughs> how long it was going to take for someone to say something. I didn't think that it was going to be instantaneous. <laughs> I, do, I, I just, I'm just like, wait a second, that's not supposed to go there. <laughs> yes, it is. I guess so. I mean, I guess it's it is. It's a museum. It should have a skeleton. <laughs> Why All good it museums do. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right outside. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, give a little spooky, scary to the kids coming to the museum. Yeah. They're learning about anatomy. Come on. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> when I discovered that I could place things outside of my farm, mm -hmm. my whole community became wild. Oh, man, why can't I give Barney more gifts? That's annoying. Yeah, I can only give so many. Okay, let's see how much a barn is. Okay, it's only 6,000, um, and it's three, let's see, it's 350 wood and 150 stone. Let me see how much wood and stone we have. We probably have enough. Oh, we yeah. need a deluxe coop to get a bunny. Okay. Well, I think I think we should probably build a barn first before we upgrade the coop. Yes. Um, that makes sense. We need. We, we have need a thousand milk. stone. Oh, fabulous! Okay, I'm coming we to get so the wood and the stone. stone, and then we'll build. We'll, have, we'll get a barn built. Mm -hmm. Um, the stone is by the broken down barn. Okay. And the crystal. Got it. Link. Oh, God. Can I get in the chest, please, Kendra? Yes, I'm just putting gold wheat there. Hold oh. on. Oh! Yay. Okay. Oh, we have lots of stone. Oh, and we have lots of wood, too. Wonderful. All yes. right. I hope Robin's not closed by the time I get run. there. Run. I run and I run and. You got and it. Fast. Fast like life. One day we'll have a horse. Yeah, one day. I put run, run, the. Run yellow rain hat on my horse and it's so adorable <gasps> oh my it's goodness so cute it's a perfect horse hat adorable 
I made it. Oh my gosh. Okay, construct farm buildings. We're building. Oh my god, a you farm. made it by the minute. I did. Oh. That's amazing. Okay. Um, I'm. I think put it next to the coop. Does that sound good to everybody? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, if I put it next to it, it's blocking. I'll put it. Um, can someone go? No, because it'll still be blocking the entryway. I'm just gonna put it in front of the coop. We can always move it later. Oh yeah, it would be blocking that. Hmm. Yeah, so we probably we need moved to move my house over. Yeah, we probably need to move the house, but it's. Uh, but Robin was already yeah. walked away, so I couldn't like if I stopped the transaction to move the house first, I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, and it's fine. Okay. It's fine. It'll. <clears throat> It'll work. Mm -hmm. Gets what we need. Then we can get some moo cows so we can have milk and cheese. Woohoo! I want big fluffy bear right in over my bed. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Love it very much. That's very cute. No, we want to keep the hops. Just like the nightmare in Tux and Fanny. Oh my god. That game is so much everything. Oh my god. It, you you can't really describe it. Yeah. How long does it, it take to, to beat? Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> I have not beaten it. Um, there's something like 240 points okay. available to get. And I'm still somewhere in the 100s. Got it. And once you get those 240 points, that's when you, like, quote-unquote, beat the game, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming the very last point you can get is getting the, um, the soccer ball inflated. Mm. <laughs> Since that was the original... The original goal. ...issue, yeah. Man. Man. <laughs> I went back and beat the maggot mayhem so I didn't have to do that on stream next time oh I played it. Because <laughs> the crunching sound is gross. Oh my god, oh yes. God. It was. Yeah, it was, it was bad. It was just not a good auditory experience. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, it got gross. Really? What, oh, hap what, what happens? God. What's the end of the game? Yeah, oh, you just eventually descend on an elephant and it's just gross. Yummy. It, it was just gross. You just had to do it so many times and it was gross. <laughs> yeah, but the, I, I think the creatures it, like bugs a lot. Yeah, I think they must too. Just there's like yeah. so many things in that game that feature bugs. It It's so just, it's such a beautiful game. Mm -hmm. It's so weird. <laughs> I love it so much. It definitely has, it um, it definitely is, like, artistic, right? Like, you can, it has a yes. vision, you know? Yes. <laughs> it, it is about something. It has something to say. Yes. It's nominated for some award. I believe it. Currently. Oh, it's yeah. It's incredibly Large creative. Egg. Good. Yes. Okay. There's so many gems like that on, that are, like, itch.io games. Yeah. Um... But it's so hard to browse on there because there's just so freaking much content. So it's I so feel like I can never find it. anything on there um, unless it's like, you know, someone has to tell me like, oh, yeah. you want this game. Mm, you would like this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go put a large egg into the community center. Yay. I think the market for really peaceful games like that has really opened up. They have a lot of really great options. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Between this game and that one and Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. I definitely There's... feel feel like, you know, the f I, th I think it's owed to a couple things, right? Because the main mm. game for this for years was Sims. But Sims 4 yeah. sucks so bad. <laughs> so it's kind of like, you know, and then the other main franchise that was kind of for this, this type of thing was Harvest Moon. But since the newer Harvest Moons, the new company that's doing it, again, like the newer Harvest Moons like suck so bad. Um, the, the team 
it makes like story of seasons now which is much better right but i think because you know those were kind of like the two main ones for so long and the current iterations are just like not good it's really opened it up for other people to be like i miss good simulation games and they like you know and they make them <laughs> It's is, true. Um, like, try to, try to play, like, one of the newer Harvest Moons. It's not good. You gotta go for Story <laughs> of Seasons, because that's made by the original team. Is if... I don't know how I got on to that side of TikTok, but occasionally I will get cozy game recommendations on TikTok. Cute. And I am so excited to be able to play more. Mm -hmm. There's some that look so good, where you're just, like, a little mouse. Aww. running around. I was like, yes, I want to be a little mouse. Let me be a little mouse. What game is that? I don't know. I'd have to go through my likes and find it again. Oh, it's somewhere <laughs> in your TikTok likes? It's somewhere in my TikTok likes. Who knows where? I don't. <laughs> no stakes games are all I'm interested in. I hear you, Jane. Yeah. My favorite games are no stakes games. But I don't, I don't want, like, no no stakes. Like, I want consequences, but I don't want, like, consequences that um, you can't come back from, or, and I don't like, like, repeating, you know, content, because I fail it over and over. Like, I don't oh. like that. Yeah. Um, yes. Unless it's, like, a main mechanic of the, of, a, of the game. Like, I do like roguelikes, but the point is you're supposed to fail at some point, and then you get slightly better, and you do it again, whatever, right? So, like, mm -hmm. that's fine. But, um, but actual difficulty? Mm-mm. Not here for it. <laughs> I had just gotten a game recommendation called Wander Home. That is a book. It's like a D and D campaign without dice. Yes, oh. I've heard very good things about that. I'm Tell really me pumped. More. I just bought it, um, and it's an adventure that you go on. But rather than look for jobs to beat people up, you look for ways to help the people that you run into and make friends with them, mm -hmm. and kind of enrich your life. And you spend tokens that I think it's meant to represent like your mental spoons and you can give those tokens away to help people or um, you can gain them by um, enriching your life in some way so it's just a really peaceful journey um, having fun and the friendship is magic sort of a vibe oh my gosh I love that I want it's not a fun to play with wander home Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. It just sounded really nice. Because every time we play a campaign with the kids anyways, they just want to make friends with everything. Yeah. Yeah, vibes. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yep. <Me> too. <laughs> yeah, same. I mean, that's pretty much how I play D&D. I mean, I'll do combat if I'm forced, but honestly, I find, like, at least in D&D, this isn't the same for all tabletop games, I find that combat takes four freaking ever and is tedious. So I will yeah. always try to like talk my way out of doing combat, no matter what type of character it is. I'll figure out some way that they, some reason they don't want to fight, that they want to talk instead. And, um, and it's because like the combat is just like, I don't know, it's, it's just tedious. It's tedious in a lot of those games. It can go on for way too long. Yep. And it's like, oh my God, they're not dead yet. Are you serious? What in the heck? Yeah. <laughs> there some D and D tip. DM tip on Twitter was like, yeah, I do not have health points for my monsters ever. They're dead once they... the combat's boring, right? Yeah, not even that. They're they're dead when one of my characters gets to do something cool. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's great. I agree with that's that. That's fantastic. Because my God, whittling down HP is like so annoying. Oh, it just it's the least fun part for me. Yep. I know there are people who really like combat, and that's great. I'm happy for them. I'm, that's not me. Yep, that's not me either. I don't really like it. It's just slow. That's why, like, that makes some... sense. So go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say it makes sense for Kendra too, because I've seen her play all the puzzle games from the Nancy Drew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's just figuring things out, like how can I make this work? Yeah. Yeah. And that's it's. It's fun to figure things out and be like, hmm. And there are other systems that are a little more friendly to that sort of combat. Yeah. That fake combat, yeah. I guess. 
Yeah, I mean, at some point, um, when we have a D&D &D game that we can get going, I actually don't want to use D&D. &D. I want to use Fate so that we can have, yeah. like, faster combat and, um, and it be more focused on the story, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what I really like about Blades in the Dark or oh, the other one that's a Powered by the Apocalypse feature. Oh, I don't know anything about those. Are they, I is really it like is, Powered. It's faster? Mm -hmm. It's it's less about combat, mm. where the game master presents a puzzle, and yeah, if combat happens, it happens, but uh, it's very, it doesn't take forever. Mm. There's no, like, HP to whittle down. Got it. I got us five more levels in the mines. Yay! Nice. Oops, I forgot to get the sword back. Dang it. Oh, I forget a lot of times, too. Let's turn around. I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna put a tapper on a tree. Why not? Tap some trees. I got a bunch of gold. I think we need a gold bar still. Yeah, yes. probably. Seems likely. Tap the tree. Tap, tap, tap. I, my goodness. So I've learned my two, goodness. so there's two, two things that we need to peer pressure Kitty into doing that I've learned on this stream. And that is <laughs> getting her a switch so she can cross animals with us sometimes. Yeah. And then, and start, and starting a stream. <laughs> Great, good. <laughs> it's not intimidating. I know it seems like it really, it's not. It really isn't. It's way easier it, than it looks. Yeah. <laughs> Kendra knows because she just figured it out, right? It's like pretty much like it's pretty, yeah. it's pretty easy. It's because I'm so picky with my time and what I watch. It, it took a little bit of time for me to feel like, yeah, okay, I can do this. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, do it. It's fun. Do it. Maybe someday, but I like watching your guys' stream and doing oh community goodness. day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. You, and you do have to find time for it. Like, I'm not going to lie. That's the you hardest do. part is making sure, it, working it into your schedule to make sure that it actually happens. Yeah. Okay. Because you can't just get on and do it for like 30 minutes. There's like no point, right? No, so. you have to sit down for a couple hours and really mm -hmm. do it. 50, 40, and 8. Okay. I'm getting us a preserves jar. Yay. Ooh. So we can make preserves. Although it's actually for the, my understanding is that it's better for your fruit to put, make that into wine. And for the preserves yes. jar, you should actually use that just to make pickles and don't really make yep. any jelly. You can make wine with preserves? No, with the no. fruit. So you can put the fruit oh. either, yeah, so you can put the fruit either in the preserves jar to make like jam and jelly and stuff, or you can put it in the, um, in the wine casket to make wine. I thought you were blowing my mind with a tip. I was like, wow. I no, no, I wish. That would be so cool. Jelly Wouldn't wine? Wouldn't be great? Yeah, oh, jelly man. wine. Is that a thing? Can you make wine out of jelly? Like in real life? Yeah. Why are I you asking you me? make it out of like Concord grape juice. Oh, I guess you in could. your Instapot. <gasps> what? what? I found a recipe. They were like, I'm not going to lie to you. This is really bad wine, but you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it might be the worst wine you've ever tasted, but you can make homemade wine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And oh, it, Jane it really had me too. intrigued. Jane is saying you can yeah. make wine out of almost anything. Well, I'm sure that's true, but it's like, would you actually want to drink it? It, it sounds like the answer is largely me. no. <laughs> Jane saying this does not surprise me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. All right. That's like how I found out you can make vodka at anything, too. Someone gave me apple vodka, and I was like, What? Oh. So when you make vodka versus wine out of like apples or something, like what's the difference? Like what's the difference between apple vodka and apple wine? 
I yeah, I wonder that too. Yeah. Proof, maybe? I don't... Oh, maybe? How it's distilled? Yeah. I don't know. Questions that I'm going to Google method. later. I don't know. I'm making Matthew onion wine this spring. Him. Oh, again? Yeah, didn't didn't you make some weird wines before, Jane? I feel like this was a thing for you for a moment. I think there were pear wine. Yeah, I feel pear. like I remember pears. Mm -hmm. They were Sounds failures. Really All I right, guys. Onion wine. There's 15 minutes left before end of stream time. So we're going to do one more day, and then we'll do a good news article. Yay. Yay. I like good news. Me too. <laughs> My copper hose ready, you guys. I upgraded her. Yeah. I got a new, new lady. Get her back. Oh, oh, wait, open it. We had her spa day. She's all refreshed. You know, it's good. Ready to be hoeing again. Got a good spit shine. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Why, why do you do that to me? <laughs> I'm a good person. All right, well... Hey. <laughs> I'm a good person. Thank you. You like We're it. We're not arguing that. You like it, Kendra. That's what's happening. Listen. <laughs> that was not the question here. Yeah. Oh, I can't even get a scarf car this time of year. Corn. Come on, corn. You can do it. Is it summer right now? Yeah, it's yes. summer. Oh, okay. I just have some corn going because it continues to produce through fall. Mm -hmm. I like, uh, I'm lazy and I like not having to redo my crops. Yep, the very continuous much. crops, corn is great for that. Oh. Sweet. Mountains. What was I doing? I had a plan. I don't remember what my plan was, though. Your plan was to mm. run around in the grass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. You have to sing The Hills Are Alive. No. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Nobody needs that. Okay, don't worry. Ooh. I started a quest for a fish and it was the very first thing I caught. Nice. Nice. I like when that happens. That's very exciting. Uh, oh. Karen, you have the map that shows you all the different characters. That's right. Do you know where Haley is? Because I don't have that map. Who? Sorry. Haley? Haley is... Let me find her. Where are you, Haley? Where is the purple hair? Okay, she is. No. Oh, she's thought... blonde. Oh, hey. Oh, Haley's the blonde one. Oh, um. I don't even remember where she's on the lives. beach. Oh, I found her. Emily was covering her up. She's in her house. Oh. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem. Yeah, her and Emily are both mm -hmm. at their house right now. Sweet. I don't know how to make vodka. Oh, they were failures. Oh, oh, that must be about. Yeah, so you are remembering yeah. that right, Kendra, but it, it didn't work out. I, yeah. I mean, listen. Gotta learn somehow. That's true. How are you going to learn if you don't have a failure? Mm -hmm. Someone at my husband's work makes moonshine, and it was really, really good. Really? Oh my goodness. I've, you know, every time I've bought something from the liquor store that was labeled moonshine, it was the most disgusting thing I've ever had. So I don't, <laughs> I, maybe I just don't like moonshine or I don't like, like what they commercially call moonshine. I really don't know which it is. Um, but I would love to try some moonshine that's actually good. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely strong. It's very, very yeah. strong, but mm -hmm. it didn't, it didn't taste like acid. That's what I feel like they, most of them have tasted like, like just, it's not that it's, <laughs> it's not that it's like too strong it's that it's like just it's bad <laughs> we made lemonade out of it it mm. was very very good oh, okay that sounds really good 
You just yeah. replace all the water with uh, moonshine. <laughs> you know, normal, normal recipes here. <laughs> That's right. for normal people. <clears throat> Trying to find forageable stuff. I'm not. Gotta, it's making me sad. I found a gold grape. I think I'll we finished the summer forageables, if that helps. Yes, but I like to raise my foraging level. Yeah. It's nice when, at the end, when you can get the, um... When you can get it to where all the forageables are purple quality automatically. I yes. Mm-hmm. I had a problem with when everything was purple for me. I had a quest that I needed something that was yellow. And no, I didn't know how to get, get it. it. <laughs> I don't know how you get it in those cases. I just don't, you know? Yeah. It's, um, oh, well. I think I can get like a lower quality rod again, and then maybe that will do it. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Let's see. Oh, yeah, because I'm about to get the big, like, oh, this or that with mm. foraging. Well, I know later in the game we'll need a bunch of yellow sea cucumber. Well, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just sell them? <laughs> no, I just don't fish. <laughs> oh, I'm fishing. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'll fish. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> fish if I have to. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's ten of those. Let's see. Okay, it's two. Great. Good. Okay. I will come up here. Oh, for unlocking the bus, I think we have to do all of those money ones, not just one. So we gotta give them a lot of money. Yeah. I saw you started it. I'm about to go turn a few things in. I saw somebody gathered some mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Minus. My friend. I love Linus. Oh, mm -hmm. good. He's the best. Has best anyone ever gotten him a house? Because I didn't get him to, uh, to do that. No. No, I haven't in, in my games. But you can, right? Like, you can... Can't you get him as, like, a roommate or something? Yeah, I, I said the wrong thing, so he denied me. But I'm wondering if you could even say the right things. Or if oh. it's a no-go. I'm not sure. I don't know. I know that he doesn't seem to want to. Mm -hmm. He likes the outdoors. Yeah. yeah. I have a phone ringing behind me, so if you guys hear it, okay. I'm ignoring it. Sorry. <laughs> it's not my phone. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm not going to be nice and be like, hey, your phone, because then I'll just be screaming. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Air. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I hear ladies meows. Let's see if she wants in. I'm just going to axe you, Kendra. That's fine. Axe away. I forgot my good sword. Use yeah. the forest one. It's pretty good. Come on. You can come up in my lap. You want to say hi to everybody, lady? You want to say hi? hi lady. There we go. There. Say hi. Hello. Where is she? She's oh, in my lap. Lady. She's in my lap. How's it going, lady? Meow. She's a lady. Have you seen that tour a lot? Because I know I would. Oh, um, no, not that one. I do sing to my animals, though, and change the words so that they match them. <laughs> I love that. It's very cute. For, for her, to the one I my go to is um, single ladies, but it's hey, little lady. Oh, no, that's um, <laughs> that's one's that's no, that's a different song. Um, that's a Gangnam style. Yeah, that's yeah. Gangnam style. But she also gets um, all the little ladies, all the little ladies. We get that one too. <laughs> um, what goodness. other ones do I do for her? I can't remember. But those two. 
can't do it on cue. No, it's just it has to it has to happen. When it's time yeah. and when it's time to give the dog her pills, because you do it with peanut butter, she gets peanut mm -hmm. butter jelly time, but it's peanut butter riri time. Oh. <laughs> I assume everyone else, everyone sings to their animals. Weird stuff yes. like that. <laughs> mhm. Mm oh, don't kill me, please. I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, you I can't wonder. touch you right now. Give me like, give me like ten minutes. We're almost done with the stream, okay? Poor lady. She's, she's so well, abused. So I neglected. Know. So neglected. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What what do you what are you gonna do, lady? Yeah, I try to play one handed for you. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Alright. Oof. Yeah. I'm Sorry, I had to click I, I have to day. click to get in my door, lady. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You, oh, you don't lady. get nearly enough attention. Ever. Never, ever. Okay, I'll go to bed. Poor lady. Poor lady, indeed. So neglected. So neglected. And she's one of those kind of cats that's like, that'll look at you and like nudge you in the sense of like, uh, hello, you have two hands. Yep. <laughs> Not just one. Come on. Yes. She's very proud of herself. Mm hmm <laughs> Where are you going, lady? You done with me? Or is it time to climb on my computer? Don't worry. I have something on top of the power button so you can't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't show everybody your butthole, my gosh, lady. Be a lady. It's not that type of stream, lady. <laughs> it's not that type of stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. Ooh. Fishing level five. Yay! Yay. All right. Okay. Progress is saved. So. Let's go ahead and close out. Get out, everybody. Farm day Hi. over. Okay, we're actually going to do a Good News Network article. <laughs> Let me just pull it up on my screen. All right, so because of everything that's going on with Ukraine, I thought we have to talk a little bit about um, Ukraine and express some solidarity with them and... Um, and say fuck Putin and this war, it's awful. But I did find a little bit of good news about some of the stuff that's going on there. I'd hoped for better good news because I actually thought about this a while back, about what I wanted to do for good news article for today. Um, so it's not super good news, but it's something. There's a bunch it, of people it's, this booking- This very sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. There's a bunch of people booking Airbnbs in Ukraine to help people that are in Ukraine still, you know, raise money, even though obviously no one is taking vacations to Ukraine right now. So, um, <laughs> this is the headline. People are booking so many Airbnbs in Ukraine, they raise 2 million for hosts in need and never even check in. So yes, that's basically what what's happening. So in Ukraine's capital, Kiev, um, this person right here, I, I'm so sorry, but we're not going to try that. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, had 10 people book into his room in a single day. This was surprising and a very supportive movement. The 36-year-old told CNN early Friday, I told many of my relatives and friends that I plan to use this money to help our people who need it at this time. So I thought that was really, really nice. That's perfect. Yeah. Yep. So if you want to do some direct aid, for Ukraine, here's a fantastic way to do it. Go find Ukrainians that are utilizing Airbnb and book rooms with them. And of course, do not go there. Please don't actually go to Ukraine right now, unless you're a reporter, then you can go. Otherwise, you know, <laughs> probably not the best idea right now. Um, <laughs> I love so, knowing that it's going there too. Yeah. And, and I yeah. love, and I love it going like directly to a person because um, you know that they're going to be able to use 
all of it. Whereas not that there's mm -hmm. anything wrong with donating to organizations or nonprofits or, or whatever. There's a lot of benefits to that too, because the money can get used more effectively, but all of it's not really going to the people because they still have administrative costs they have to cover. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry for the, the, um, the lady ad on the side, you guys, I just realized that was up on the screen. Um, it's not really <laughs> showing anything explicit, but it's still kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not what you would expect attention. to see on a Stardew stream. <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I just kind of looked and I realized like, because I, I thought it was just for bras at first, but I was like, no, some of those things are not just lingerie. <laughs> nope, <laughs> not quite. But anyway, <laughs> so that's a great way to donate to Ukraine right now. If you'd want to do some direct mutual aid, um, go find a Ukrainian Airbnb and book a couple of nights um, with them and it will go directly to a Ukrainian. So I thought that was really awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. go All people. right, you guys. Yeah. All right, you guys. So um, I'm going to look for somebody to raid while I'm doing that. Why don't you guys let everybody know where to find you if you'd like to promote something, etc. cetera. Uh, Kitty, you're, you're at the top on the list. So if you want to go first and then Kendra, you can go. Yeah. Um, as always, I promote everybody being happy and remembering to take care of themselves. Yes. I love that. You cannot find what about Kitty you, anywhere. <laughs> That's right. Elusive. <laughs> uh, you can find me on twitch.com at drowfields or twitch.tv, whatever it is, on yes, Twitch at drowfields or on Twitter at drowfields. Yes. All right, so we're going to do another shout out for Kendra. I know we did one, but we're going to see if it's oh another goodness. clip. Yeah, oh here we goodness. go. Weak spot at the base of the neck. Oh, Spears no. and bows only. <laughs> the beast oh, injures dear. you and escape. Yes. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, oh dear. This the one crown. is. I love the crown. The mini crown is the best. 78% chance it, we get it. Very so heavy. We gain Moose Slayer <laughs> for 20 years. Or I didn't think it would be that heavy. Chance we die. Two hours with it. And it, the Chiefdom gains troll attacks. Landon, I'll do it just for you. Put the I the sword. I was you gained the most slayer. Piece, now I got you. <laughs> oh. I prefer not to put that much effort into it. Good yeah, and now we're going to have to be. We're going to have to be awesome. <laughs> all right. So where you can find me, here's all my socials. I do things just like every other content creator does. Um, Twitter is my main social media. So if you'd like to make sure that you are kept completely up to date on everything that's going on with me, Twitter is the best place. I also have a Discord server, and you're welcome to join in there. The reasons you might want to join the Discord server is I actually control all of the pings there. So you can make sure that you're getting a ping when the stream starts if you're in the Discord server, because you can't always rely on Twitch or YouTube to do it properly even if you tell them you want the notifications right um it's also a role play help server so we can help you out with your writing and your text-based role play um and uh you know all that fun stuff plus you can hang out with us and that's also how you can get into joining these community days if you would like to do that as well um as far as supporting me i do things just like everybody else uh you know you can sub to the twitch do bits all that fun stuff you guys know how it works all right we are going to raid into Ingzi. Oh, woohoo. He is playing some World War III. Um, hopefully, we will not have a real World War III and it will only stay a video game. That is my yeah. hope for this. Yeah, I can't yeah. freaking spell his name. Hang on. I'm going to have to copy and paste. There we go. It's a difficult one. It's, it's a hard one, yes. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We're going to raid into Ingzi. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Uh, next week, we're going to be talking about the Order of the Phoenix. Yes, the actual Order of the Phoenix, not the book. We did two streams on the book. Next time, we're going to be talking about the Order themselves, like the individual characters. Um, and oh. next time on um, Artistic License, on my Thursday stream, we're going to be going back to Final Fantasy X. It's been a minute since we visited it, but we're going to go visit it for some post-game stuff. And, uh, and that's it. That's all. Thank you guys so much. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. Bye. 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 See y'all later. Have fun.